by uh, some fans. And you're like, oh my god, it's PBJ and D1. Like, what's up? What's going on, guys? And like, got pictures with them and stuff like that. And Keitaro's just like, hey, hey, I'm here too. But don't want to take a picture with Keitaro. So <laughs> <laughs> that sounds pretty accurate. Like Keitaro, pretty accurate. Yeah. yeah. So I just sat there and made fun of Keitaro. He's like, well, no one's asking a picture for you. I'm like, no one knows who I am yet, man. So it's all good. Like, I'm going to have to make fun of him later. Yes, absolutely. Please do. Please do. Everyone, well, what's Keitaro's Twitter? It is Keitaro Time. K at Keitaro Time. So guys, go to at Keitaro Time and uh, let's, let's, shoot, let's, let's fire some shots. Let's load the gun and fire some shots, all right? But anyway, we have Scra versus Smash Studios' very own PB and J. Chibo needs to flip the, the camera. There we go. Yeah, there we go. We live it. On it before we even said it. <laughs> you already knew. We live in. That's why he does it and we don't. This is true. This is true. <laughs> man, I try to do streaming for my weeklies and stuff like that. It is hard, man. It's hard yeah. to like, stay on it's top of it and stuff like that yeah. and be always, like, you know, aware of what's going on and stuff. So shout out to all the streamers out there putting in that work. Shout out to Sauce Boss, my streamer. Shout out to Chivo, Clash Tournaments, guys. And also PB&J with Smash Studios. For sure. It is a lot of hard work to yes, put in is. a high-quality stream like mm -hmm. this. So I, big shout outs to Chivo to come out and do this for us every year. Amen to that. Shout out to the crowd right now, watching right now, man. Yumicon crowd looking looking fancy. With their what happened now, but no, no, never mind. Alright, we live in. Alright, so Scrawl Link Flare. This is something we don't get to see unless you're Lord HDL, but he doesn't even play him that much anymore. Shout out to Lord HDL, man. Awesome guy. I had the pleasure of hosting him one time, it was awesome. But anyway, ooh, this uh, PBJ's Falco going in right now, showing no mercy on Scra. Good shield. Now you don't see Link too much, guys. Link is not considered to be a very high tier character, um, but he does have some gimmicks to him, yeah. from what I understand. But yep. unfortunately, there his recovery is pretty bad. There are a lot of people that actually believe that uh, Young Link is actually better than Link nowadays. Yes, well, you know, I know randomly um, Young Link actually has a good matchup against Jigglypuff. Yep. You know, going back to past Apexes with Hungry Box and Armada. Yep. I think that was 2012 or 2013 or both. I'm not too sure. Maybe. I remember it was, it was one of those. It was, it was definitely one of those. Yeah, shout out to Apex 2012-2013 where Armada went Young Link against Hungrybox's uh, Jigglypuff. But yeah, Young Link has random good matchups, so I agree. Actually, Young Link is also faster than Link yeah. as well. It may hit a little softer than Link, but faster. And speed in this game, ooh, that is a the, B gimmick. That is the best gimmick that Link has in this game, is that uh, he has a spin spike. If you get hit by the spin... You'll get knocked to the yep, corner over yep. there, bottom right corner, it's bottom a, left. It is a semi-spike. It isn't an actual spike, but it isn't a meteor either, so you can't meteor cancel it Interesting. either. Interesting. So it's, uh, it just sends you slightly ho like uh, slightly horizontal as and uh, down as well. Okay, that's really interesting. You don't get to see too many links on the stream or anything, so you don't get this matchup now too much. His Nair is also very good for spacing stuff out. Yeah. It lasts a very long time, so it's really good to just even throw out sometimes because it also has a lot of priority on it as well. Ooh, very risky using the down air, uh, Link's down air on PB&J, but it actually connects with it, so we live it. But yes, be careful with that. Even with L canceling, that has a lot of end lag to it still. Ooh. Good spin attack. Scrawl showing a little thing or two, man. He is no slouch with this character. I do want to see him uh, use a little more boomerang, however. Oh. And the suicide kill. All right, good job, PB and J from Smash Studios, man. Good job. That has a pretty jersey right there. Let me tell you something. Shout out to that jersey. I want a jersey like that, man. I can't right. wait. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to game three. That's uh, game two. Excuse me. Game two. Yeah, we got a Cloud9 in the crowd. We got a Cloud9 fan in the crowd right now. Okay, I was about to say, uh, I don't know about that. We got a Cloud9 <laughs> fan in the crowd. Excuse me. Shout out to Cloud9. Oh, we got a Scorpion in the crowd. I was going to call out cosplays right now because cosplaying is hype. Uh, Mr. Hat and Clogs Urahata. 
Love it. Right. Alright, here we go. All right, Game we are two. Going to, uh, Dreamland. Dreamland. Okay. I agree with this. Absolutely. Uh, it's a bigger stage. It has more gives Malik more room to dance yeah. around, you know, to work with his projectiles and his spacing game. So yes, I agree with this as well. It also makes it a little bit harder for uh, Falco to kill him without taking too much away from his kill power either because right. of the, the semi-spike on the spin. Yes. Good, Ooh, good, good tether, tether grab. Yep. I, that is the one thing I miss in every other Smash game, over wave dashing, over out canceling. The fact that you can tether grab any part of the stage rather than just the edge. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. That was um something I had. Oh, I misses the grab. This is the tether grab, but I, this is something I. Uh, it that just, was it, really it, good. Yes. It, it allowed for so many more mix-up opportunities on recovering. Yeah, that and it, it gave was just, it was so gave chances cool. for Samus and Link to actually yeah. get to recoveries. You know, especially on stages with long walls on the bottom of it, like Yoshi's Island. Okay. Yeah. Now, again, like I said, I, w I really want to see Scry use a little more boomerang rather than these arrows and oh, bombs all the time. Because uh, that boomerang, if uh, it's too good. if Falco's off the stage, like he can clip him with the boomerang and then get that free spin on him. Oh wow, that spin it hits him all the way to the other side of the stage yeah. and takes it. But yeah, no, I agree. The boomerang is definitely a better tool. Boomerang is a very good tool for Link, and he's not really using it to his advantage. Showing a little, showing a little bit of smarts there, just staying on the ledge, looking for his opportunity to get back on. Ooh, the good tech, tech chases. chases. Missed the third one. PBJ putting in that work of Flacco right now. Okay, hopefully he holds on to the bomb. He that does. Was smart because oh, he, uh, held it for two, okay. he held it off for too long, yeah. man. Ooh. Oh, uh, he lost his jump. Oh, uh, yeah. very unfortunate. Because the thing is, if you hold the, if you have a bomb and you're hit off the stage like that, you can actually hold the bomb to uh, give yourself a little boost on your. Yes, recovery. once it explodes. Yes, once it explodes on you, it will pop you up a little bit. So yes, that is, that is. You'll see any link in any game use that option, yeah. whether it's 64 or Smash 4. Good back air. Ooh. Ah, there you go. Hey, oh, oh, there's the boomerang. The, okay. All right, now I think he finally heard us. Oh, good grab. Nice. And the up B. Oh, oh Scraw's going in right now. Let's if he go. Would, if he would have just spun attack that illusion, like Yo, that would have been the hypest. He's getting in with those spin attacks right now. So right now. Nice. Scraw is putting in work right now, man. I am impressed. Doing a lot better this game than he was last game. He, had, he has a lot more room to work with, man. That makes a huge difference. Oh, with the up beat. Good spin attack. Top Good stuff, Scrawl. Let's go. I am hyped for you right now, man. All right. We're down to the last stock for Scrawl. But again, this is melee. Anything can happen, man. I don't know why I like keep saying that. My bad. We in there. <laughs> it happens. It does happen. I guess my catchphrase for this game. I, I don't know. We in there. But anyway, PB&J put in that work. The shines and the, the down airs, man. Pillaring is just Falco's main thing. Yeah, man. Using the shine to pop him up because it's different than Cloud's, uh, uh, not Cloud, Fox's uh, shine. shine uh, Fox's shine will spike you down while Falco's will pop you up. Yep. Oh! And a quick cleanup of that last stock. Um, shout out to Scraw, man. Putting it in that work, man. Put it showing in some effort, man. I give him a lot sure. of credit for using a low tier character like Link, man. Shout out to Scraw, man. Got to talk a lot about Link, actually. Yeah, right? Yeah. That was great, man. How often do you get to talk about a low tier character at a tournament, man? You don't. Like, you don't really get a chance to really talk about it. So it's yeah, really cool. Really sure. cool stuff, man. Shout out to Scraw. Shout out to Yumicon. Shout out to Clash Tournament. Shout out to Team Apex. We